Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is multimode fiber launch condition and its impact on insertion loss testing. So let's get started. What is a launch condition? For fiber systems up to 100 megabit per second, surface emitting LEDs are used. LEDs have a bigger emitting angle and a larger area than the multimode fiber being used. This launch places equal power into each mode by uniformly illuminating the fiber, essentially flooding the fiber core with light. This launch condition is called overfilled launch. The problem with LED is that they cannot be turned on and off fast enough, so they are replaced by VXO lasers as fiber systems speed up from 100 megabit per second to 1000 megabit per second and 10 gigabit per second. VXO lasers have a much smaller emitting angle and a smaller area than LEDs. So VXO lasers launch into only a portion of the modes that a multimode fiber can carry, mostly located near the center of the core. This launch condition is called underfield launch, as shown in the second picture. When FP and DFP single mode lasers are used on multimode fiber, this situation is even worse. Essentially excites only a few modes at the center of the core. This is called an extremely restrictive launch, as shown in the third picture. So why do launch conditions matter? What is the impact on multimode fiber loss testing? These two pictures show what happens when two fiber connectors are misaligned. The red beams represent the modes in the fiber, the green parts represent the fibers, and the yellow parts represent two separate connectors that are mated to each other. In the overfilled condition, the light beam occupies the whole fiber core. Since there is a lateral misalignment, part of the higher order modes are blocked and lost. So this measurement shows a large loss probably 0.6 to 0.7 dB. But if this fiber link uses a VXO laser, this loss reading is misleading and overestimated. Since VXO lasers will underfill the core and there will be no higher order mode loss. Now let's see what happens if the launch condition is too much underfilled as shown in the second picture. If the launch condition is too restrictive, only very few lower order modes near the center of the core are excited. So the light beam passes through the misaligned connectors with very low loss, probably 0.2 dB. Again, this gives the misleading loss, which is underestimated. Just like Goldilocks, not too hot, not too cold, we need launch condition that is just right. But just right what? Just right so it can match real-world VXO transmitter launch conditions. That is why the industry has developed a dozen launch condition specifications. Now let's examine the two most popular methods. The current standard way to test multimode fiber is the Mandel wraps after overfilled launch method. The light source is an overfilled surface emitting LED source. After that, the fiber is wrapped around a specific sized Mandel for five turns. The purpose of this wrap is to remove higher order modes as shown in the right picture. The higher order modes are more susceptible to bending losses. So after this Mandel wrap, the modes in the fiber is very similar to a condition called equilibrium mode distribution. The TIA568 specification specified Mandel sizes and the turns for both 62.5 micron and 50 micron multimode fibers, as listed in the table. This method is good for overfilled LED launch conditions up to 622 megabit per second. But after that, VXO lasers are used instead of traditional LEDs. So people found out that this test is not accurate enough for gigabit Ethernet and 10 gigabit Ethernet. In order to control the launch condition in real-world VXO laser used in gigabit Ethernet and 10 gigabit Ethernet, the new encircled flux template method was developed. This standard proposes a field condition with upper and lower limits in order to get consistent, realistic, and repeatable loss readings. The vertical scale shows the total power from the core of the fiber up to a point on the radius. So when you get to 25 microns, you get all the power. The shape of the curve is chosen to emulate an idealized source that is between underfill and overfill conditions. The encircled flux proposal tries to establish a universal launch condition. So regardless of which manufacturer you purchased your light source from, as long as the encircled flux compliant light source and reference jumpers are used, the loss measurements will be about the same. So there you have it. Please click the like button below if you find this video useful. That helps us a lot. And don't forget to visit fo4sale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.